The Bloodhound's goal is to take the land speed record to 1,000 miles an hour. We do four and a half football pitches a second, so 1,000 miles an hour is faster than a bullet. It is pushing the limits all the way. We're taking over 700 channels of data. It's all open source, everybody can see it from school kids to academics to actually the engineering team here in Bristol. And the only way we can do that really effectively is to stream it live off the car. It's part car, it's part spaceship, it's part jet fighter, and it's gluing that all together, and it's the most fantastic thing to work on. So Bloodhound pushes the limits, we're going to 1,000 miles an hour, and that's what kind of looks obvious. Actually, what we're really trying to do is to inspire a generation in science, technology, engineering, and maths. There's so many other parts of this project that people don't always see, but they are the real things that we push the limits on. I lived on the flight path for Heathrow when the first concourse came to land. For two weeks, twice a day, we'd come out of class and we'd look out there and see this fantastic thing flying, and that was awe inspiring. I think seeing something like that is that phenomenal, that that's what you need to get people passionate. There's a huge amount of computer work that's going on in that car. There are aerodynamic devices that are moving, there are air brakes are getting ready, there are 700 sensors being recorded. There is huge amounts of data going around making sure the jet's working, the wheels are on the ground. They're all being monitored all the time. All that has to happen for it to be successful. So when we're in South Africa, we need to make sure that our signal is the clearest, the loudest, the sharpest so that when that car's traveling a thousand miles an hour, we can get that data and we can make sure everybody can see it. They see the blue and orange car, but the invisible bit, the thing they don't see, is, is how that group of people, that fantastic group of people work together, that teamwork of how you get people from all different industries, from all different works of life, whether that be Formula One, spacecraft, aircraft, submarines, the number of different skills and, and people that, that work on this project is what makes it truly special. And that's the invisible bit that you don't see from the outside.